And now the iPad is working and backlight also. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman and in today's video we have an iPad Air 1 not working. Not working at all. When I received this iPad, I found out that this diode is broken. So I removed it. I'm sorry, I wasn't planning to do a video, but then I said let's do it. Okay, now if we check here the resistance value, there is a resistance value, and here we have a short. This is the backlight circuit, and this line is connected to the coil, and the coil is connected to the VCC main. In iPad Air, there is no backlight chip. The backlight chip is integrated with the power chip. So now if I want to know the problem is in the VCC main or in the backlight circuit, I have to remove this coil, then check which side is shorted. Here we go. So let's check. This side is shorted, and the other side. Hundred millivolt. So we have to remove the power chip and replace it with the used one because those chips is not available in the market anymore. So I have another donor board. This chip has a very hard glue. The chip got broken. Oh. Very lousy job, but my God. Okay, now we have to return everything on its place. fix that I'm sorry that's that's a disaster okay we will fix that later let's let's clean the let's clean the chip You are not important, get out. It's a bypass capacitor. So now this area is cleaned and ready for the new chip. Let's try to get the chip from uh, the donor board without destroying it. I try to buy as much as I can from donor boards. Let's remove the underfill here so those capacitors go back to its place. Just remove the edges. Okay, that's enough. Okay, now we need to take this one in perfect condition. So I will make the heat full. I don't care about the heat. I don't care about those capacitors, I don't care about the board, I just need the chip. I scratched the chip or it's already been scratched before? I don't know from here. But I think it wouldn't affect the chip that's like rubbery uh, 
outfill. So now I see the solder goes out from the capacitors because of the underfill. I try now. All the capacitors are moving. The chip need more heat because too much ground. And here we go. Perfect. Now I will use this board holder to hold the chip. Very nice board holder for chips, not for boards, because it's very heavy and it's all metal, so it gets very hot and uh, make the board take a long time to heat up. So I don't like to use this one uh, for boards, so I like to use it to hold my chips so I can clean them. This one I bought it when I was in China last year. I cannot find it on uh, AliExpress or Amazon. Now I use temperature 250. The chip doesn't require too much temperature. You can see solar melting already. Shitty stencil. Okay, now we put some flux on those capacitors so they get back in their place. And then I will remove the excess solder between the capacitors because this may make short. And I hope this chip is working because really I don't know if the scratch on the chip is from me or from before and this is a donor board I don't know if it's working or no now let's check for a short again and short is gone so let's put back the coil Okay, and let's fix what happened here. We need a diode as well. So what we have here, we have three uh, resistors. We have the three of them here, but one of them is not correctly placed. Back backwards. That would work, by the way. And that will do the job. See, see this need to be removed. Now I need a diode.
let's test it and now the iPad is working and backlight also is working but the battery is out of charge so I'll leave it to charge here I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you do please leave me a comment and hit me a like and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my coming videos till then my work here is done and I'll see you next one bye guys